Hi all, this is the dog lovers episode. It's one of the things that just happened and I thought it would be a good opportunity to share with everyone. I'm not into dog rescue, nor do I work with any organization. I just do my bit wherever I am, whichever part of the country or world. I do my share in my locality, more so my street. I make sure there are no hungry animals in my street, how many ever they may be. I feed around 20 to 30 a day. I arrange for medical treatment, help with their sterilization and finding homes. All this is possible because of the support of my students. My thought is that if each one of us can take some responsibility and feed even one hungry animal or adopt a stray, there won't be any more hungry, sick, miserable animals in the world. Dogs are, after all, called man's best friend, loyal as ever. The whole feeling is very martial artish, if I may say so, in the sense that martial arts is about mind-body harmony. We say mind-body-soul-spirit connect. Over the years of being with these lovely animals, I have witnessed multiple dog fights. And in breaking them up, have been bitten uh, close to a hundred times. Once when I had to save a small dog being attacked by six full-grown ones, I was bitten 28 times. Ah, the little one was successfully saved. In all this, my injuries have not mattered in the face of protecting them. The incident in the video took place at 4.20 a.m. Three adult dogs attacked a small, frail mother dog. I happened to be in the vicinity and without thought managed to rescue her from being badly bitten by warding away the three aggressors without causing them injury or pain. To me, this is possible because of chi flow and body ergonomics, which I have discussed at length in various episodes. This just happened and I could react in less than a second. There was no thought or plan. Uh, this was captured on uh, CCTV, hence uh, sharing with all of you. To save an animal in distress, one should not think of the consequences. Though the situation may be daunting, a martial artist should do what is right. After all, one studies martial arts to protect and to take care of one's health, of course. When chi flows, fear leaves the body, even when you have to confront angry strays in a frenzy. The aggressive animals are instinctive but innocent. They are acting as nature directs them. We humans can reason. Hence, we should avoid causing them pain and injury. Even if a dog or dogs attack us, we can defend ourselves by being bold shouting at them and standing ground, showing courage. More often than not, this will stop them. We should at all costs avoid hurting them by throwing stones or using sticks, etc. Most of the time, it is because of, because of this, because of this irresponsible behavior of us throwing stones and, hit, and hitting them with sticks and scaring them that they attack us. Training should build instinctive reflexes and ability, as I mentioned in several of my videos. The force used in a situation be minimal and just what is required to stop a situation of aggression. I use my hands and legs since I'm a martial artist. A gentle nudge with the leg using chi to change the body ergonomics of the at attacking dog. The nudge did not cause any pain or injury to the dog. You can see it has not moved after the nudge, but was enough to distract it, therein stopping it from biting the mother dog pinned to the ground. A few open hand slaps, more noise than force, and using chi, pushed the rest of them away before they could cause any injury to the mother dog pinned down. The intent is to avoid hurting them or cause injury. It is instinctive for me to save 
and instinctive for me not to hurt them. Everything happens automatically. This is the same principle used in all our demos to avoid injury to students. You will notice in all our videos the attacks look real and painful, but in the next moment, the students seem to have made a miraculous recovery. The next morning, I fed the three who attacked the mother dog the previous morning, and all are happy, healthy, and fine. Uh, you can see the video. Martial arts is about giving life and not taking life. Over the years, though I have been bitten multiple times while breaking up dog fights, it has never deterred me. Training helps to build sustenance of belief and strength, despite any adversity. I'm sure all well-trained martial artists would do the same in such a situation. However, please don't attempt this without training because it can cause grievous injury to the self. Um, the last thing I would like to say is, please be kind to all animals. I would also like to take this opportunity to convey my heartfelt gratitude to all my students who have been so generous and giving month after month, year after year to support this journey in every possible way. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel and do not forget to click on the bell icon so that you never miss any of the exciting videos from Chi is Key.